Hi guys, I am Sajad Pathan and today we will be looking at the EM question of the day. So without wasting any further time, let's start. What is the most likely cause? 24 year old male is in the emergency department with rashes as shown and joint pains. He has no comorbidities and no allergies. His observations are normal except of a temperature of 38.1 and a heart rate of 110 per minute. He denies any trauma or insect bites. So the options given here are gram-positive diplococci, gram-negative diplococci, spirochete, protozoa, viral. Let us look at the options closely. If they are asking about gram-positive diplococci, that is streptococci, which could give rise to impetigo. Impetigo happens on the face and it's quite contagious. It can also happen on the scalp and other part of the skin, but uh, this doesn't seem like impetigo for me. Let's look at gram-negative diplococci, which is gonococci. Gonococci can give rise to such a rash. We'll have a look at it. Spirochete syphilis does give rise to palmer rashes in secondary stage. And uh, they usually present as erythema multiforme. Protozoa malaria doesn't give rise to any rashes like this. It can present with petechiae, but it's a rare occurrence. And viral, could it be HHV, which gives rise to Kaposi sarcoma in an HIV positive patient? Well, let's look at it closely. So, key facts in the question here are fever, joint pains and a rash. It's a young male. What do, that could be? Young male with fever, joint pain and a rash. If you see a papular pustular hemorrhagic lesion in a sexually active individual, we need to always think about ADS, which is arthritis dermatitis syndrome, which is a form of disseminated gonococcal infection. So the answer here is B, which is gram-negative diplococci, which gives rise to dermatitis arthritis syndrome, sexually active male, with a rash, tenosynovitis, and joint pain. You need to seek sexual history in this case. And the treatment for a disseminated gonococcal infection is keftriaxone, one gram, IV daily, doxycycline, 100 milligrams twice a day for seven to 10 days. These patients need treatment for seven to 10 days. They need to be followed up at sexual health clinic, and you need to also treat the partners. Doxy is added to keftriaxone to cover for simultaneously happening chlamydia infection that's all for today and see you soon with another question good luck studying bye